According to your arrest report, it was based on an anonymous tip. That's correct. So someone called 911 and said that a white man in his 50s wearing a suit and a hat was in the vicinity of the Red Brow Tavern and that man had a gun. Yes. And this tip came from someone you never spoke to, someone who also refused to give his or her name to the police operator. Yes. Completely anonymous, not a trusted source, known to have been reliable in the past. That's true, but I didn't arrest you based only on the tip. I conducted my own investigation. What investigation was that? I asked for identification. Which I provided immediately. A false ID. But no, you didn't know that at the time. That license was created by the preeminent document forger in the world, not in this country, on the planet. There is not a chance you could have known it was a fake. You look nervous. Furtive. Officer Baldwin, I've been evading the police and law enforcement for almost 30 years. I'm the most wanted man in the world. At the time of our encounter, I was armed with a Browning 9mm semi-automatic with a round in the chamber and the hammer cocked. Do you really expect this court to believe that a marshmallow disguised as a patrol officer, a comic figure in an ill-fitting uniform, could possibly make me nervous? Objection. Sustained. You think this is fun? Honey, you're a real smart guy, huh? Well, we'll see how smart you are. <laughs> there he is. There's the real Officer Baldwin. You didn't search me for looking nervous. The truth is I was disrespectful. No. I was disrespectful. You got angry. And you decided right then and there to show me you were in charge. That's not true. I was a wise ass. You said as much to your fellow officers at the scene. Tell you what, I'll apologize for my behavior if you apologize for the illegal pat-down that has exposed me to the death penalty. No? Think about it. No further questions, Your Honor.